Hello, I'm going to show you today durian. Now I've had this durian for over a week. When I brought it home, oh my goodness, you could tell I had durian in my house. Because yes, it's true, durian does smell. Um, however, I decided I'll try this durian one more time because I bought it one time before, but I didn't know what to do with it. <clears throat> I still don't know what to do with it. But I thought, okay, this time I'll wait longer because the last time I got it, it wasn't ready. I know it wasn't ready because when I opened it, it wasn't ready. So today we'll find out because again, we are at the point of, I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, then this morning, because it's like, it's 5.35 a.m., I'm in my kitchen to do something else. But I realized the ants are invading my Dorian. There's a lot of ants where I live. It's not my house, it's where I live. And it's just like, ugh, I'm so tired of ants. However, I'll carefully pick this up because if you think stepping on small toys hurts your feet, this is just, this is like worse. So I'll show you here it's in the sink because I put it in there to hopefully wash off and wash out all the ants. So this is what, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about now. Oh my goodness. So you can see, I, I don't know if you can see, I have my fingers look almost in between these little spiky things, which are not soft, like I said. It's like stepping on small toys. And now, What's interesting is, you look at, look at it like that, but what's interesting, you see how it splits? That's where all the ants were going. Ugh. So we're going to open it up and see what is left. Now, now I'm, I promise you, the smell is not, I always feel like there's ants crawling on me. The smell is not bad. Not like when I first brought it home. So I'm thinking, does that just happen after a while and then you know it's okay to eat or... Anyway, because we, we always hear about how durian smells really, really bad. So, my uh, camera uh, availability is somewhat limited, but I'll, I'll bring you down to, to a lower level. Here, we'll use a bowl. Bring you down to a lower level, then you can actually Hopefully, see because nobody wants to look at me. They want to look at the food. So, um, let's see here. Go against that. Okay. Ugh, there's an ant crawling across the top of my iPad. Okay, so if we could just focus more so on the fruit than me, because really, I'm not that special. Um, I'll try this. Put my fingers in inside. Oh, I can feel this is soft. The whole thing is soft, just not the outside. Okay. Ah, here we go. Hmm. All right, so you can see. Whoa, it almost fell off. Ugh, look at that, look at that. Ugh, hold on. Yep. Ah, nobody gets my fruit but me. New fruit. Oh my goodness. Ew. Ah, oh, I'm so done with ants. And I'll wash them off with the other, let's see. Okay, now in a previous video I did, I likened the inside and I still do. Oh my goodness, doesn't this remind you of the heart, right? You have your atrials and your ventricles. Seriously. Okay, so now that we've gotten rid of the nearly, oh, there's two more tiny offenders, in my opinion. Okay. This is interesting because it's like all covered. So the fruit is hiding underneath this covering. Um, so I see it has begun to mold a little bit out here but it's still edible it's not like that bad off 
but I'm touching it and I can see why the, you can see it's how soft it is. I can see why the ants have come marching in. <sighs> oh, and there's an ant. Oh my goodness. Seriously, I'm done with ants. Okay. All right, it just comes away. Ugh, there's an ant on my cutting board now. <sighs> okay, another bowl. We'll put this in. And we'll take this, take this off. I'll do it carefully, it'll, then we'll get out a knife. See how it's like flat? That's interesting. However, we need to take this off. I, there's just something I try to avoid eating, and mold is one of them. I know there's a knife here in my, in my um, brain board because <clears throat> I actually poked myself last night when I was putting some other silverware in there. Um, okay. Well, this was not cutting off, but it's pulling off. So, okay, now this seems to be all fruit, but this seems a little hard. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the hard parts. Nobody has said, oh, and this is how you eat durian, and I did not, I did not Google it, because I already know, man, you just go online, you can find out all your answers. Yeah, I'll keep that one. But there is there is a hard part in each each piece that Okay, I'll just squish. There you go. Huh. Let's see what's this hard thing. It's beginning to look like a seed. Oh, it is a seed. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a seed in a pod. This reminds me of jackfruit. Or as they call it in Portuguese, jaca. So, imagine if I if I let this little guy dry up, nice and happy. Maybe, um, and I replanted it. Maybe I would get if it grew. That's why it's an if. I would get a new um, durian tree. However, I'm not like. This will be my second time trying durian, and this is definitely more uh, mature in terms of how it will taste than the first time. So, so I'm like, I can see you just don't peel it away. Got an ant in my bowl? No, I think that was a speck of something. Ugh. Yes, this is what happens when you <laughs> live on the side of a mountain in the subtropics. <laughs> I live in, currently I live in Taiwan and I call it the subtropics because I really thought it would be warmer here than it, like year round. It definitely gets humid. Believe me, it gets humid. But, okay. Now we already know there's the seed right here. He, he's fairly large. That's to be at least over an inch long. Ouch. Oh, that's all there is. See? That's all there is. Just a little bit of squishy stuff, which is okay. I'll, I'll pass. All right, so this is definitely durian. And right now, like I said, it doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> now I'm thinking, am I going to be able to eat the rest of this thing once I try it? Um, I do have friends, I think, that I could give this to. If all else, I'll, uh, there's other people I could give it to elsewhere on this island. Oh look, there's an ant. Ugh. <clears throat> trying to get this all out really quick so we can see exactly 
how much, okay, that's the end of that one. See, there's nothing left. So you can see exactly how much fruit does come in average one of these, because they do vary in size. So, let's see here. And, uh, let's see if there's any left in here. Nope, this is empty. I'll tell you what, it has some good cushioning. Let's see if this one is empty. I have a feeling there's like a little more. Ugh, I'm not talking ants. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if those are ants or, or specks. Maybe there is some more in, oh, I think there is another one in that one I just thought there was not. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> it's like a treasure chest. And open up that door. And there's more. Pretty impressive, huh? So, wow, they're like three sections. Goodness. All right, this part we don't want. See, nope, uh-uh. Don't want that part. And that's coming off with a seed. So that works. Okay. That part is good. That other part was not. All right, one more bit. I mean, it's just like mush. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's like mush. However, I can definitely see putting this in a zippy baggie and taking it with me today to give to someone. Oh, maybe my duplex neighbors would like it. Hmm. Okay, we'll check this this one one more time. The reason I'm suspicious is, you see how this sort of like bumps out right here? And it looks like there is a, it does come together, so I think there is one more bit in, yep, sure enough, here we go, here we go. Like I said, it's like a treasure box. Oh, there it is, the last bit of the durian fruit. Look at that. We almost threw away a whole section. And yeah, I'll get rid of that. And then, yes. That's it. Okay. Wash off the hands. I will readjust the, uh, <laughs> Hold on, I need a towel. I will readjust the camera because people think they ought to see my face when I do this. I don't know why. Okay, so readjusted the camera. We don't need the underside of the upper cupboard. Okay, so we have our bowl full of durian. Making sure I got out all the seeds. Um, bowl full of durian. So, proving it's it's durian I'm trying and not butter. Because it looks, the color is a little bit like butter. Okay, so I'm trying this. Yes, because we know this is supposed to like, they say, they say, they being someone, considering I heard this in the 80s, they say, if you get past the smell, it tastes good. So let's see. Okay. <clears throat> I know there are many people in the world who like durian, but I can promise you, I'm giving the rest of this to somebody. Mm. It has this like, ting, yeah. I'm trying to think of a good way to, to describe this. Um, no, I'm not gonna try more to figure out how to better describe this. Um, there's like this, this 
tingy flavor. Mm. It's not easy to describe how does this taste, but I can promise you, I will never do this again. Um, I'm going to drink some milk to see if there will be some way to break the flavor. Because, you know, milk is a great neutralizer if you're eating something spicy. Any type of milk. Ice cream, sour cream, yogurt, soy milk, regular milk, some kind of milk. So, um, I will definitely uh, be consuming something else after this to, uh, to neutralize it. But I am glad I got to try it one time. Once, once was enough. Um, like I said, I know there are a lot of people who like it. It's probably one of those things you had to grow up with. And consider, you know, I'm, I'm halfway through my life. Yeah. Um, I have to wash off my hands. So I'm going to push stop. Um, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm happy for those who love Dorian. I really am. I'm happy for those who love durian, and um, I think it's great. I'm sure there's a lot of healthy properties to it, but I will say no thank you after this when someone asks, would you like some durian? Um, no thank you. Thank you for asking. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I will uh, see you on another video. Bye-bye.